Good morning this Friday the 9th of July, I'm Paulina Peters, a market analyst at Bell Direct. Well, it was a volatile session over in the US, with the Dow losing more than 250 points amid global economic recovery concerns. This comes as Japan declared a state of emergency in Tokyo, with its upcoming Olympics to be held with no spectators. Also causing concerns is the rebound in cases due to the COVID-19 variants many countries are currently experiencing. The losses were led by economic recovery stocks like Carnival, Royal Caribbean, United Airlines and Delta Airlines, all dropping more than 1%. A focal point for investors was the Labor Department's latest jobless claims data. There were 373,000 first-time applicants for unemployment benef benefits for the week ending July 3, which beat expectations of 350,000. In terms of what to watch locally, buy now pay later stock ZIP, Z1P, saw its share price rise as much as 15% yesterday amid speculation that rival Swedish buy now pay later provider Klarna had acquired a 4% stake in the business, a move designed to give it options should the buy now pay later sector consolidate down to two or three main players globally. And Seven West Group climbed 4% higher after it took its stake in building materials company Barrel north of 40%, one week out from the deadline of its partial takeover offer. Also worth noting, RBA Governor Lowe spoke yesterday to the Economic Society of Australia, where he reiterated the central bank's position that conditions for a rate rise will not be met until 2024. Amid the global sell-off today, the Aussie share market looks set to end the week lower, with the future suggesting the market will fall 0.66% at the open. New South Wales COVID-19 cases hit a record 38 new cases yesterday, with the federal government pledging an extra 300,000 doses of vaccines to be distributed to New South Wales, noting that this won't affect supplies for other states. Australia now sits at about 8% fully vaccinated and 25.72% of the population have their first dose. Moving to commodities, well, the oil price is trading up about 1.5% to US $73 a barrel following positive US inventory data, which showed a much bigger drop than expected in crude and gasoline inventories. The gold price eased around US $1,800 and the iron ore price fell 0.82% to US $216. To end on some trading ideas for your consideration, Bell Potter has maintained its buy rating on telemedicine company Dr. Care Anywhere DOC, with a price target of $1.70. As promised in the company's 2020 prospectus, DOC has now provided further detail of its entry into the self-pay market for mental health services in the UK, with its key channel partner Partners and a corporate insurance broker in the UK. Access to mental health services via the NHS is practically non-existent, hence the self-pay market is the only realistic option for those requiring immediate assistance. DOC closed 2% higher yesterday to $0.90, cents, which implies about 93% share price growth in a year. To end, bullish charting signals have been identified for Linus Rare Earths, LYC, Bubs Australia, BUB, and MyDeal.com.au, MYD, according to Trading Central. And that's it for today. I'm Paulina Peters with Bell Direct. Happy Friday.